in this session on dietary fat myths, in the first part, I'll be explaining about the types of dietary fats and part two covers their effects and how one should interpret their lipid profile test. So let's start with uh, understanding the types of fats in our diet. Starting with saturated fats. Now, chemically, these uh, contain no double bonds and the fatty acids pack really tightly against one another. This tight packing makes these fats solid at room temperature. Most of the fat in butter is saturated fat. Coming to unsaturated fats. Now, if there is just one double bond in a fatty acid, it is monounsaturated and if there are multiple double bonds, then they are called as polyunsaturated. So an example of uh, monounsaturated oil is olive oil and an example of polyunsaturated oil is sunflower oil. Essential fatty acids are the omega-3 and the omega-6, which are polyunsaturated fats called as PUFAs and they have to be provided through the diet. Now the Indian diet is abundant in omega-6 and therefore we have to supplement the omega-3s. Coming to trans fats, now trans fats are found mainly, uh, you know, in, uh, naturally in very small amounts in some meat and dairy products and these natural trans fats don't cause any harm to our health. But the majority of trans fats are artificially created by a process called as hydrogenation. Now in short, hydrogenation turns a liquid oil into a solid fat. You would usually find them in cakes, pastries, cookies and biscuits, uh, you know, especially the ones that are made from maida or refined flour. They are harmful for our health. Now, how does saturated fat affect our health? These fats have gotten a bad rap for clogging arteries. So let's dig a little deeper. Now, although it is seen that uh, some saturated fats may raise the bad uh, or low density lipoprotein or LDL cholesterol as we call it, uh, the association between cholesterol levels and heart disease is a bit more complex. And I'll explain that later when we come to the part covering the blood tests. For now, let's look at some examples of saturated fats and their sources. Starting with the first one, that is stearic acid, which is found in animal fat and some plant fats like coconut oil, cocoa butter and palm oil. It is considered as a neutral saturated fat, which means that it does not really affect the cholesterol levels much. The second one is lauric acid. Now this is found in coconut and palm oil. It is shown to raise the cholesterol levels, but this increase is mainly seen in the good or the HDL cholesterol. In fact, lauric acid appears to have more beneficial effects on HDL than any other saturated fatty acid. The third one is palmitic acid. Now the richest dietary source is palm oil, but it's also found in red meat and dairy. Although it raises the levels of LDL uh, cholesterol, this is mainly again due, due to an increase in the large, less risky type of LDL, since there are two types of LDL particles. The fourth one is uh, MCTs or medium chain triglycerides. Now these are used differently in the body than any other fat. They are more easily absorbed and transported straight to the liver where they are rapidly used up. Some of the benefits are, uh, you know, weight loss, increase in an insulin sensitivity. Uh, they have anti-seizure effects, especially in epileptic patients on a ketogenic diet. The fifth type is the short chain fatty acids. Now, the most important ones are butyric acid, propionic acid and acetic acid. Their dietary intake is minimal compared to the amounts that are produced inside our gut. Uh, they are only found in small amounts in dairy fat like uh, butter and certain fermented food products. They are an important source of nutrition for the cells that line our large intestine. Now, short chain fatty acids are actually formed when the good gut bacteria ferment fibre in our large intestine. The types of fibre that promote the formation of these acids are known as prebiotics. So this was a broad classification of dietary fats. Watch part 2 to understand the, uh, the effects of saturated fat on your health and how to read your lipid profile test.